I've talked before about soldering copper pipe, and you wouldn't think that there'd be much change in that process. Well, I've got news for you. Think what happens when you need to solder copper pipe. What do you need? Well, you know, you'll need some solder, right? You need some soldering paste, that's correct. You'll need a sandpaper to clean off the copper pipe and a brush to clean out the fittings. And probably the most important aspect in the whole job is actually the solder, because that's what holds the copper pipe into the joint or into the fitting. Well, what if I told you that you don't need solder anymore to hook together and solder copper pipe? Well, you don't. Here's what you need. Fancy new fittings. These copper fittings actually have the solder built into them. They look the same as a standard copper fitting, but look at this little ring around the edge of the fitting. That ring contains the solder. Let me show you how it works. All you have to do is clean the inside of the copper fitting with the standard brush that brightens up the copper and removes all the oxidation. Use the sandpaper to clean the end of the copper pipe. And then take the flux that you normally use, spread it on both ends, put the fitting on the pipe, turn on the torch, heat it up, and as soon as we see the solder come down to the end of the fitting, you're done. Oh, that is very, very cool. Fittings that already have the solder built into them. Austin Carter, Ask the Builder. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.